All right, guys, we're here with Seth. Now, as I'm introducing him, I'm going to walk this up to the camera. Christelle, let me know when it's in focus. He, he walked up to me and he handed me this. Can you see it? He handed me this, and we're here at Bilderberg. So I'm going to go ahead and have him uh, talk to everyone about what it is that he does and uh, why Bilderberg mattered to you, Seth. What brought you out here today? Uh, well, I wanted to... Um, go ahead and talk, and I'll show these for you. Sure. Protest... Uh, Bilderberg, of course, because they're meeting in secret and making decisions that affect us all. Obviously, that's not cool. Uh, anyway, um, since 2009, I've been putting this flyer out, and it's just to uh, give people information to wake them up, and um, those people probably don't even read it. And then this is something we're working on right now, uh, which is um, we have a nonprofit we're starting to safety and environmental policy uh, and um, that's an <coughs> event we're having soon <laughs> to uh, bring awareness to GMOs and the dangers they pose. And then this is a Pizzagate flyer I made. Uh, this is just a whole one. I, I cut them up because it's really cheap. You know, can make a lot of now they keep saying the Pizzagate has been dispelled. That's and a lie. Now, uh, what are some of the facts that you've found personally? Well, they're all right here. Oh, okay, they're all right. Well, I'm going to zoom in on this, friend, so you can hit pause on this as well. Uh, here's the thing. You can make your own decision, as they always say, right? You know, look at the facts and decide for yourself, and that's really true. So I just lay out some uh, resources here, and, um, you know, uh, but anyway, the first thing I said is this uh, quote from Edmund Burke, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Right? Very good, yes. people. And then I said, pizza game is real news, and it's your moral obligation to learn, uh, educate yourself about it. Uh, and then I said, don't let child rapist escape justice. Okay, so then I have this um, uh, little saying I wrote a long time ago. It's on the other flyer. Apathy plus denial divided by Stockholm Syndrome equals treason. That's great. Yeah, or it could be a riddle too. You know, what of apathy, denial, Stockholm Syndrome have in common? They're all forms of treason. So anyway, then uh, I put the resources here. The first is a website called pizzagate.com. And uh, it breaks down the whole timeline from the, when the emails were leaked by WikiLeaks mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, uh, to the present day, and they update it occasionally. And if you read through it carefully, you're gonna, you can decide for yourself. But at the very least, any rational person who gave it a casual look would conclude it deserves further investigation. It's really bizarre. Why is the DNC using... Uh, codes that pedophiles use, you know, I think acquiring minds want to know. Uh, where can they get a hold of you and they're watching uh, well, this? Or... Uh, I just wanted to go through the rest oh, of it. Oh, please do, please yeah. do. No, no, please do. Uh, on YouTube here, uh, I, I have YouTube suggestions. Mm -hmm. One is uh, it's, um, video hashtag Pizzagate, what we know so far. And that... Um, Put your hand just a little oh, bit lower. Sorry. Yep. That's a... Uh, uh, I like a 15 minute video that kind of breaks it down for you so you don't, if you don't feel like reading through the website. Oh, okay. And then uh, I have here Sandra Fetch, and she is a, uh, a very well known uh, psychiatrist who works, uh, who have worked for years with people who are recovering or victims of satanic abuse, ritualistic yes, abuse. Yes. So she gives a lot of credibility to it. She's a very credible person, and she has many accounts. And then I have here Jay Parker, and he was at the Free Your Mind conference, uh, and he claims to have grown up in a satanic family, you know, but he's a really interesting guy to learn about, and he has some really good radio interviews and lectures on YouTube. And then Mark Passio, who is um, a really fascinating guy, uh, he's, he, he was like a defector from the Church of Satan, and he exposes them. And um, he gives, if you go to his website, he has tons of lectures that really breaks down the whole philosophy and everything, and they're very um, detailed, and you can learn a whole lot from him. And uh, he actually just said uh, to Vinnie Eastwood uh, on YouTube that uh, Pizzagate's a great opportunity for people to understand that their whole world's run by Satanists, and he can prove it to you. And um, Pizzagate's just a manifestation of that. And then, uh, here is this from Alex Jones, uh, his featured Vets for Child Rescue. I just added that, because mm -hmm. uh, we want people to know about that, because they're...
retired Navy SEALs and stuff, and they want to go and expose this. And, you Very know, and, and in case you didn't know, on InfoWars recently, um, Alex Jones was interviewing him, and then his crowdfunding was shut down immediately, you know, without explanation. You know, because of the wow. pressure, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's getting, like, all these roadblocks, even though this guy, Craig Storer, uh, has made lots of TV shows on the Discovery Channel and stuff for history or whatever. I don't watch wow. TV. And then uh, the last one is Tracy Twyman, who's like Mark Passio, a, sort of a defected cool. Satanist who um, uh, exposes them. And she's a brilliant author and writes uh, lots of books about bafflement and stuff like that. And um, she has this video uh, on YouTube that's uh, just like 15 minutes. And uh, the title of it is Podesta's Fish and 14 Hand Tattoos Explained. Are you familiar with that? I do know he's into a lot of satanic spirit Well, he, spirit cooking. there's a I picture was... of him holding his hands up, and one has a tattoo of a fish, and the other of a uh, number 14. And so it's very bizarre, right? You know, I mean, who goes around taking their picture with that? So she explains it in terms of her knowledge, which is extensive, of Satanism. And uh, I tell you, but it's too disturbing. I'd rather have your viewers just look it up. The Dest is Fish and 14 Hand Tattoos Exposed by Tracy Twyman. Oh, a bit of mystery here <laughs> yeah. on the correct news. I mean, I could tell you, but... Uh, You're welcome to. I mean, I'll, I'll post it. No, I'd rather not. I, you just just look it up and do a whole show on it. In fact, why don't you interview her and Mark Cassio, because uh, I will if you to. could, uh, they're like the two greatest college professors you ever had. You know, they're amazing. Really. All right, thank you so thank much you for being very on the much. show. Yeah, that's cool. Thank Hi. you. So, uh, yeah. what's you it called? Your show? The Correct Views on I'll look, YouTube. I'll look it up, absolutely. Yeah, you can reach him at rfep oh. for us at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. It's, Say that see, real loud. I want to make sure people can, on, on air can see it, not just That's me. our uh, website for the non R-F-E-P dot org, friends. Phone number 703-307-568. And this is the Alliance for Responsible Environment, uh, Food and Environmental Policy. Yeah, we have a lot of articles on our blog about what's going on with the global seed conglomerate oh, and pesticides and everything that's going on to really overtake the food supply and corporatize it, you know, and really discourage seed sharing and independent farming. We have to stop GMOs. Uh, that's the... Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if you want to talk about something else besides Pizzagate, but... That's fine. Yeah, there, go ahead. Let me read this. I just wrote this recently. Please do. It's a public service announcement I like to share with people. Please do. Uh, danger. Emergency. Bees and all other insects are dying off and soon could be gone forever. We can't live without them because they pollinate the food we eat because they are an integral part of our ecosystem. According to the World Wildlife Fund's Living Planet Report, in the years since 1973, almost half of the world's wildlife has disappeared. Think about that. And, you know, half of the wildlife gone, if that's true, you know, I don't see why they would lie about that. Um, Even if they're only half right. It's yeah, exactly. <laughs> Terrifying, yeah. Um, if we don't stop this trend now, the prospects of the future are quite bleak. Humanity is currently hurtling towards a future that would make the scenarios of Soylent Green and Mad Max look enviable. If we don't immediately stop the destruction of Earth's ecosystems on land and in the sea, you can expect to either starve to death or be cannibalized by your neighbors. The good news is that these problems are a result of greed, corporate greed and ignorance and apathy on the part of the public. These are circumstances that can be reversed by word of mouth. It has long been understood and recently acknowledged by the United Nations that pesticides, herbicides, and monoculture, which is farms that only grow the same thing like corn or whatever mm -hmm. for miles, uh, three of the main culprits of the destruction of life on Earth are not necessary to feed the human population. Small, organic, diverse farms are more efficient than massive monoculture farms. We absolutely have the means to save our ecosystems. We just lack the collective knowledge, will, and unity at this time. A modest proposal. You know what that is a reference yes. to? You know, Jonathan Swift? Yes. Right. Okay. Well, well, this is about is eating infants, for right. those of you that don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was satire, you know, because there were so many people starving in London. Yes. Uh, anyway, so i got a twist on that. The current annual profits made by the top five producers of pesticides and herbicides are approximately $34 billion. The current annual defense budget is approximately $600 billion. The destruction of our ecosystems is absolutely the single greatest national security threat facing America and the world. You know, we spend a fortune on the military, 
uh, while the ecosystems disappear. <laughs> you know, that's insane. This doesn't make any sense. So I say, you know, did you know that due to the <coughs> pathetic apathy and ignorance of the general public, you know, because it is the public's fault, all these problems mm -hmm. for being so out of it, that in the past 20 years, $10 trillion has gone missing or was stolen from the Department of Defense, and no one knows what happened to it. Google it. That's $10,000 billion that's vanished from the books, counting books. According to the Rutherford Institute, which is something that uh, John White had, Alex interviews him all the time, yes, yes, uh, the U.S. government, holy crap, there's a spelling error in here, <laughs> has spent $4.8 trillion on wars since 9-11-2001, with $7.9 trillion in interest. Okay, so we've, they've stolen 10, uh, uh, 10 trillion and spent since 9 11 like over 11 trillion, 12 trillion. Uh, uh, just on, you know, wars and interest. And then, uh, so my modest proposal is the United States government could easily afford to purchase these treasonous chemical, co chemical companies for the purpose of stopping them from poisoning our environment for profits. Hey, this is, oh, okay. <laughs> so, then I say, it's your responsibility as a patriotic American citizen to help spread the word that we must stop the destruction of our ecosystems before it's too late. We can do it. Now, I'm going to wrap it up here. All right. <laughs> it is now your choice to take action or go into denial. You can never again say you didn't know or weren't warned. All real progress starts with the man in the mirror. The least you can do is stop using Roundup, start eating organically produced foods, and start growing your own food and plants that are beneficial to the recovery of the bee population. Mm -hmm. The end. Very good. Thank you so much, Thank sir. Thank you very yes. much. Well, and, hopefully somebody uh, hey. watches. How many people watch your channel? Uh, you know, sometimes I get 4,000 hits, sometimes I get nobody at all. But oh, well, cool. I imagine for Bilderberg it should pick up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thanks. taking the time.